Okay, I got a bit of a quick video here. Um, I recently switched from being primarily a GNOME user to KDE Plasma 6, uh, 6X, whatever the version number is now. Uh, and I've really enjoyed KDE Plasma. I think it's matured a lot from 5. Uh, but there is one thing that's bugging me, or that had been bugging me, and that's the opacity or transparency of the panels here. Um, I was looking for a way to kind of make it a little bit more pronounced. At first glance, it looks like it's not really transparent at all, that it's almost completely opaque. And I noticed that when I come over here to say my calendar, that in fact it is uh, transparent with a blur, but it's so, I don't know, understated that it might as well not even exist. And I've intentionally chosen this background here because of the uh, brightness and the contrast of the image so you can actually see underneath this tree that it is in fact being blurred but if this were a darker background you really can't see it at all and it looks almost completely opaque so the solution I found is we're going to come over here to settings and what we're looking for is desktop effects and there's two settings that we need to change here under appearance, the background contrast and the blur. Uh, first, we're gonna take off the background contra contrast, hit apply, and you can tell immediately that it lightened up the um, background behind the panels. And the next thing we wanna change is the blur effect and how severe it is. Now, under the default, and I believe this is default, yes. Under the defaults, it's set completely to strong. We're going to take it down um, to pretty light, and you can see when I hit apply here that you can actually now see the blur behind the panels, which is what we're going for. Um, I'm not entirely sure what noise strength does. I think that either increases or decreases blur artifacting um, at the expense of performance, but I'm not entirely sure on that. We're mostly interested in the blur strength. And so the stronger the blur strength, the more almost opaque it becomes the lighter the blur strength the more just basically transparent it becomes i think i've settled here on the second tick is a nice little blur effect uh, for my tastes kind of reminds me of the arrow theme from i think it was windows vista or windows 7. Um, tasteful amount of blur and so we're going to hit okay there if you take blur off altogether it just becomes a completely transparent background if that's your aesthetic that's how you would achieve that. Um, I like the blur. I'm going to leave the blur back on, but again, reducing it down to, to very, very light so you can actually see the blur behind the panels. And if I come back here to calendar, it's much more obvious that this is a transparent panel or a transparent window, which is what we're going for, or what I'm going for. Hope that helps, guys. I know that there's a lot of um, tweaking opportunities and settings here in KDE Plasma and sometimes it's not really obvious uh, where to look to, to find the solutions that we're looking for as we customize our desktops. So I hope I was able to help you guys out and I'll see you in the next video.